All right, so it's about uh, 4.50 in the morning. We're at Pirate's Cove at Oregon Inlet. In this video, we're gonna talk about how you in a small boat can leave the Oregon Inlet safely and do it when it's pitch black outside. So that's what we're gonna dive into right now. Okay, so there's a couple things that we need to make sure we're doing when we take off in the morning like this, Professor. And let's just hit on those real quick and then we'll show them as we get going here because this is the type of thing that can go wrong if people don't do it right. Very wrong. Seen it happen many times. Witnessed it. Witnessed it. Witnessed it. Yep. But yeah, um, Oregon Inlet is super dangerous. I mean, it's constantly changing with the currents and the winds. It's better navigated by a seasoned professional like you know like these charter boat guys you know they do it every day so what we try to do if we haven't been out of the inlet you know in a few weeks or whatever we know it's changed there's no sense in you know risking it and trying to go on our own so what we do is we try to pop in behind a charter boat and they don't mind at all they would rather have you follow them out than have to rescue you so we're leaving from Pirates Cove today we're just going to hang out out here by the bridge until one of these charter boats come out that do it every day. We're just gonna pop in behind them and we're gonna follow them the whole way on out through the crack and underneath the bridge or right on out of the inlet. And then once we get out in the deeper water, you know, where it's nice and open and everything, and there's, there's no obstructions in your way, then we'll branch off and go wherever we'd like to go. Um, but it's always a good idea to do that. It is dark, you know, here it is five in the morning, you know, and, um, it's not like this is our backyard, you know. We didn't grow up here, and um, you know these guys grew up here. And they Trust the locals. That's right. Local knowledge is hard to beat. So real quick, I want to show you what we got on the screen here. A couple things just to make a note of. Um, we've got our FLIR night uh, cam, which is going to be important because we're obviously going to be dark outside. We've got a split in terms of our uh, GPS combined with our sonar. And then we're going to keep our spotlight off in the front. So as we trail a boat today, you'll see that our spotlight's going to be off because we don't want to be affecting their ability to drive. So we're just going to get close with them to them about 100 feet. And we're going to stay with that all the way to the inlet. We've got about what five, six miles to the inlet. Nine miles. Nine miles to the inlet. That's what we got. So let's do it. So we're leaving the harbor and We've got our lights down low here inside the cabin as much as we can because otherwise it's as dark and shining off of you. Following our lines previously, but taking our time. And then as soon as we get outside the harbor, we're just going to wait on a boat, literally. We're going to wait on a boat. And we're going to let one go by us. And then when it goes by, by us, we're going to tail up behind it. That's the process. And the first time I did this, because you know, I'm a rookie. I squeeze my butt cheeks pretty hard, I gotta be honest. Professor here led the way. We were just sitting out here by the bridge for a few minutes and some boats are starting to leave. And one just came out, went underneath the bridge here. And we're in the process of popping in behind it. Uh, we're gonna get up on plane here in a minute and start running. But uh, we're also gonna give them a safe and comfortable distance. You know? they, like I say, they don't mind if you follow them, but you just need to give them a little bit of distance. But, you know, be, just be safe. Use common sense when you do Once this. again, the spotlight is off. Right. So we're coming up on the Oregon Inland Bridge now. So on the tail of our seasoned professional local knowledge boat. And uh, we're going to make a turn to go out and 
go out across the the Oregon Inlet Bar, the infamous bar. But uh, it's gonna be a little choppy this morning. So, all right. So we have uh, cleared the bar. The sun is just coming up. As you can see, we're in a small boat, and it's a rough day. I mean, it was snotty, and. Uh, so of course the big sport fishers have uh, blown by us at this point coming out of the inlet. But we followed one all the way through, and um, and now we're just going to take our time to get to our destination. That was uh, essentially how we do it. And remember, some people might look at this and say, "Hey, I mean, this is basic knowledge. It's not basic knowledge." This is really, really important. We're talking about, you know, following some of these best practices that can save a life. And uh, so just keep this in mind when you're coming out of the Oregon Inlet and it's dark and it's early and you're not a local. Anything else you want to add to that, Professor? The Oregon Inlet is dangerous whether it's dark or not. You always need to respect it. Tide has a big influence, wind direction. Do you get that? The tide coming out of the sound with the wind pushing waves up against it right there at the inlet. I mean, it can be treacherous, so you just need to respect it.